गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल स्टडी द सॉल्वेंट यूज इन एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सॉल्वेंट मीन्स सोल्यूट शुड कंप्लीटली सॉल्यूबल इन दी लिक्विड दैट इज नोन एज सॉल्वेंट इफ इट इज कंप्लीटली सॉल्यूबल दैन इट इज नोन एज सॉल्वेंट सो वट इज सॉल्वेंट यूज इन एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो इन एन एम आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वी आर यूजिंग टेट्रामिथाइल साइलेंट एज ए सॉल्वेंट first of all the compound is mixed thoroughly in that compound and then it is put into the nmr spectrophotometer and then we are getting the nmr spectrum so what are the qualities of the solvent so the solvent should have the different qualities that is it should not react with our compound that is the organic compound which are dissolved in the <coughs> solvent and after the nmr spectrum is there the compound should not interact with this solvent that means it should be completely removed the solvent should be completely removed from the system and there should not be any type of bonding in the chemical uh, between the organic compound and the solvent and it should give a sharp peak in nmr spectrum so these are the qualities of a solvent which are we are using in nmr spectrum so all these qualities which are there then that solvent is used so nmr uh, specially we use tetramethyl silane so we'll see one by one the slides <coughs> solvent in nmr sector we are using tetramethyl silane tetramethyl silane means silicon is there and four methyl groups are attached so it is giving a single peak It is giving a very strong signal and is having high shielding effect. You know what is shielding effect? So it is having high shielding effect. So three, six, nine, and twelve. Twelve hydrogens are there. That means twelve protons are there, and it is giving a single peak. That is zero at zero ppm. It is giving a sharp peak. Tetramethyl silane. So that type of question is asked. Why is TMS used in NMR spectroscopy? So we have to see all this. qualities are there that is it is having it is giving a single peak it is uh, giving a strong signal it is having high shielding effect like that we have to check so what are the qualities for a solvent to use in nmr a suitable solvent for nmr should meet the following requirements chemically inert toward the sample and the sample holder it should be chemically inert that means it should not react with the solute Have no NMR absorption spectrum itself, or a very simple spectrum. We should have very single spectrum. Easily recovered. That means it should be recovered easily by distillation. For example, if the original sample is required for other testing, so the sample is very costly here in uh, research. So that sample we should again we are by distilling or by different methods. It should again it should be recovered. That is important. The best solvent for proton NMR content. No protons and therefore give no proton NMR signal. That type of protons or that type of solvents are also used. That carbon tetrachloride and carbon disulfide fall into this case. So carbon tetrachloride and carbon disulfide can also be used along with TMS. <coughs> In NMR spectroscopy, the standard is open tetramethyl silane. Silicon CSC taken four times, abbreviated as TMS. We call it as TMS. Tetramethyl silane is used as reference because it is soluble in most organic solvents. It is inert, that means it is not reactive, volatile. Means can it is easily removed and has twelve equivalent protons and four equivalent thirteen carbon. TMS signal is set to zero, so if TMS is at zero ppm, we are getting the signal of TMS. Tetramethyl silane. Why are using it is as reference standard. It is a, we can also say that it is non toxic liquid. It is safe to use. It is inert. Inert means does not react with compound being analyzed. It is a, has a low boiling point. Can be distilled off and used again. All the hydrogen atoms are chemically equivalent. Produces a single peak. Twelve hydrogen, so it produces an intense peak. Don't need to use much. Signal is outside the range shown by most proton. What obscure main signals? Given the chemical shift of del is equal to zero, the position of all other signals is measured relative to TMS. The molecule contains four methyl groups attached to a silicon atom in a tetrahedral arrangement. Silicon is there. Four methyl groups are there. 
12 protons are there and if these 12 protons are giving a it is all these protons are equivalent and it is giving a single signal in NMR spectroscopy. So we are, we are seeing it is a NMR uh, spectrum. We can also say NMR as proton NMR also because the protons are involved. We can also say the NMR spectrum as proton NMR spectrum of ethanol. So we are seeing this, uh, the, this is the spectrum of ethanol. This we will see the details in next uh, class. So here you are seeing a zero del, zero del or ppm. You are getting a sharp signal, single signal of TMS. This is important. Zero you are seeing the TMS signal and in the upfield you are getting at zero and in reference to this all other signals are in different um, del and ppm values but the tms signal is zero so that is the condition it is fulfilling tms is fulfilling that it is having a signal at zero again tms is added to the sample as internal standard TMS protons are all identical, highly shielded, providing a single sharp peak always isolated from peaks of interest. The TMS value assigned del is equal to 0. Organic protons absorb downfield to the left of the TMS. All the signals are to the left. TMS is inert, highly soluble in organic liquid, easily removed from the sample by distillation. It can be removed very easily. This is the TMS, this is the structure of TMS.